Welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today it's cold, we've got a storm coming in, and I'm gonna make a pot of beans. Right before I went to bed last night, I put some kidney beans on to soak. I only, I did a pound um, of kidney beans to soak overnight. And so now I'm ready to put this together and let these simmer all day and make some cornbread to go with this. And I don't want you to miss out on that recipe either because it's a little bit different and you're really gonna go, oh, I need some of that. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'll link the two videos together because I will make them separately. And uh, I'm gonna do this with some really lean ground beef, um, grass-fed ground beef, and some uh, ground turkey that I ground myself um, for 45 cents a pound after Thanksgiving. And so, I'm gonna put this together and show you how I do it. I'm also gonna introduce you to another uh, kitchen gadget <laughs> and maybe it'll inspire you to go check one out for yourself. Um, check out my Facebook page in the show more box below. Hit that like button so you can go over and um, get notified whenever I post anything or post someone else's video. Join in on that conversation. Check out my wild tree page because I am gonna use some wild tree and um, maybe explore the opportunity of becoming a rep like I am and get your stuff at cost. Make some extra money. <laughs> okay, guys. Now for that, let's go make some chili, or well, not chili beans. Let's go make a pot of beans. Come All on. right, guys. Thanks for staying along. Have a seat, and let's cook us up some beans. So what I've got here is my New Wave induction cooktop. I just got this, and it was funny because um, I saw an induction cooktop on Lynn's Recipes, and then uh, after I ordered this, Paula my girlfriend that always looks out for me saw that video and sent it to me and she said i thought of you anyways i already had ordered it and i got this the other day i've already tried it out it's pretty amazing so i'm going to do my beans on here at least for uh, a while and then i might transfer them over onto the stove to simmer i don't know we'll see but you can only have certain types of cookware it's got to be a heavy, it can't be aluminum, glass, a crock, it's got to have a magnetic bottom, cast iron, that kind of thing. So, what I'm going to do is get my pan over here, my bean pot right up there, and um, I'm going to start this out on high because I need to get these onions sweated down. I've got one big giant of an onion, two big or three big gar garlic cloves, two jalapenos that I was not super careful with the seeds. There's a little bit in there, not a lot, and a green bell pepper that I had left over from a different recipe. And so we're just gonna get this all in here and sweat these vegetables. So I hit high, and that's four, 425, and start. And that's as easy as it is. It goes in 10 degree increments. So if I wanna go up, all I do is hit the plus button and go up to 430. Oh, it went up five degrees. So, anyways, that'll be good. We're going to put down some uh, Wild Trees roasted garlic grapeseed oil because I love garlic and I love grapeseed oil as it's got a really high smoke temp actually. It's 425, so we're going to we're going to make sure I've got there was a little water in the pan, so it's kind of already spitting at me. I'm gonna go ahead and get this onion down. That's how fast this gets hot. Pretty quick. The nice thing is with these induction ovens, I can touch the surface right here beside the pot and it's, it's cold to the touch. So um, they're pretty safe as far as that goes. If you were worried about a little one coming up and touching it, I think you'd be okay. Now, the pan's gonna get hot, but pretty cool. And I've rinsed and soaked my beans. Um, I've got some meat I'm gonna brown off here in a minute, and it's gonna be pretty darn delicious. Let me grab my little spatula. This one. these down when they become translucent you know it'll be good I'm gonna put down some wild trees absolutely onion blend and I'm using that because it really has a sweet Vidalia onion taste to it probably 
basically a tablespoon. Uh, or, yeah. A healthy tablespoon of that, some pink, Himalayan pink salt, some brown, fresh ground black pepper, black pepper. And then um, the fan that goes on this, it's, it's, I don't think it's loud enough to interrupt the video. Um, I already kind of checked it out. I did a little test video. And I would have uploaded it, but it was, I did a really bad job. <laughs> Other than the sound quality was good. So I'm going to bring you a little closer when I get that meat on and we're taking these veggies out. Okay, so now I've actually got a little bit of brown on these and they're starting to caramelize, which happened really fast. I don't want them to go any further, so I'm going to put the meat down. And this is a pound of organic grass-fed beef that, uh, it's more expensive, but it is so worth it to have good quality meat, and the flavor is phenomenal. This was 93% um, lean. So only seven, no, 94, only 6% fat. And that gives us that rich beef flavor without all the fat. And then I'm not going to be guilty about um, throwing in some turkey. We really want this a hearty, meaty kind of a bean, a bean cook, if you will. I might outgrow my pot, you guys. You never know. Okay, this is the ground turkey that I canned. And I'm only going to use half of this. That was about a it was about a pound and a half, but I, I figure I only want about a half a pound, maybe, of that. Just to add some more meat structure without all the fat, but it's it's got a really good flavor as well. You could add in pork. You could do all kinds of things. I thought about adding in some smoked sausage, but I don't think I'm going to have room for anything more than the beans and the broth now. My pan wants to slide all over. And you can see this is cooking at 430 degrees on the bottom, but this, now my pan is just now starting to heat up. So that's a good thing for me. We're going to get this browned off. As soon as I'm all done browning that, Again, I will bring you back when I put the beans on and my broth or my stuff. Okay, guys, so I have got all this meat browned off. Look how much meat that is and vegetables. Oh, it's just going to be delicious. One of the gals at work brought some beans and cornbread ones that were, I mean, these beans were delicious. It was the best pot of beans I'd had in a long time. So I'm trying to duplicate that a little bit. So I got my beans over here that have been soaked overnight. They've been rinsed. I don't know if I can get them all in here. But we're going to try. Okay. It's going to be a full pot. <laughs> and I've got some hot water that I've already heated up in my kettle. And I'm going to go ahead and pour down. And we'll get the heat turned back up. I did turn it down a bit. Just until I get it to a boil. Yeah, that's going to fit perfect. I like this type of recipe a little on the saucy side and what happens is the starch obviously from the beans ends up you know letting go and it thickens the stock and it's just delicious so we want this so we have enough um, sauce uh, with the beans to get that cornbread all cooked up you know right in there so now my pan is hot Gotta be careful. So I'm gonna use the rest of this jar of Wild Trees beef base, bouillon base, and I'll probably have to add some more. It's a good two, two and a half tablespoons. And their their brand is not salty at all, so it really is. Um, a, if you are salt restrictive, it's pretty friendly to that kind of diet.
So there you go. We're going to bring this back up to a boil and let this simmer for about, it's already trying to come up. Um, we're going to let this simmer for about three and a half, four hours. I might just put it way down on low and cook it for the rest of the day. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. It's noon right now, so it'll be ready for dinner tonight. All right, guys, I'll be back when I'm, eh, maybe I'll bring you back halfway through and you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I have this, um, it's up to a simmer. I've put, um, I've got these, hopefully you can see it. This is a beef flavored stock cube. So I'm gonna use that. Um, and it'll dissolve down in there and give it that beefier flavor that we want. I've got two of them in there. So by the time this is done, it'll be all dissolved. You could break it up if you want to, but I don't I don't care. And then I am gonna add a little bit of um, barbecue sauce, and we love this one. This one's um, Stubbs Sweet and Smoky. So I'm gonna add just about uh, three-fourths of a cup. Um, it's not enough to make the whole thing barbecue beans, but it is gonna be enough to make this just a delicious added flavor and a little bit more depth and a little color and and we're just going to simmer this the rest of the day i'm going to turn this down to nice low low and slow all right guys i'll be back okay guys finally it's time to taste these beans they are actually i've already tasted them pretty much been getting in there almost all day. And so everything, I left it uncovered so it could really reduce and get thick and all the starches from those beans kind of release. So now you see how thick and hearty this is. And I've got um, some homemade cornbread. I will have a video for this coming up. Either I'll put it before the beans or after the beans, but you'll get to see the recipe for this and it's phenomenal. Don't miss it because it's not any cornbread I've made for you before. And I don't believe I've seen it on the internet because it's mine, <laughs> my recipe. So anyway, if somebody else has a brain, sharing a brain with me, then that'd be awesome. <laughs> okay, so I wanna make sure I get, I've got a couple little pieces of cornbread down in the bowl. And then I wanna make sure I get plenty of that. Mm, just that stock or broth, whatever you might wanna call it. And we're gonna clean this side of this bowl up because we're probably gonna take some pictures and I wanna make sure that it's really pretty and clean. So there you go. There's my dinner and oh, it smells amazing. This pot of beans is gonna feed a lot of people for less than, oh gosh, less than $8. I made that huge pot of beans for, that's probably enough to feed eight, ten people. Anyway, we'll zoom you in so I can give you a taste test here. Mm. Doesn't that cornbread look good? Mmm. Just gotta love it. Mmm. Okay. Okay, so you want to bite down into the piece of cornbread, grab yourself some beans and some broth, and get a bite. Mm. Wow, that is so good. That is absolutely wonderful. These beans are not hot and spicy. They're actually, they've got that warmth to them, I, I would say. And I'm going to call it warmth. It's not hot. Um, but it, and it's got some sweetness in the background as well. That barbecue sauce is a sweet barbecue, even though I only put like three quarters of a cup, it still lends a little sweetness to it. The sweetness of the ground turkey and the really lean grass-fed beef is really wonderful in there as well. So, candy beans, and there you go. How inexpensive and easy was this? Just put it on and forget it, go about your day. I left it on there for six hours. So, I hope this inspires you to try it yourself. Hope it inspires you to come back and see me. Maybe give me a thumbs up. Post it on your Facebook page and share it with your friends. Maybe they've never done this. 
who knows? This is so good. Um, and, as always, guys, mm, I hope I see you next time.